Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Pink Training Academy. Uh, thanks for trusting us and choosing us for your professional bridal makeup course. So I'll be teaching you step by step. Initial few days it will be a theory class. Okay. In theory class you should have a complete knowledge about what is makeup, what is skin tag, what are the process, everything. So everything will be covered in that. So initial few days it will be theory sessions like for the first three or four days it will be complete theory sessions and afterwards it's going to be complete practical sessions. Okay, fine. So as like I've told you, um, there are certain things that I'm expecting from this class. First thing is punctuality. Okay, the reason why we have to keep up our punctuality is because when you go for a bridal makeup, you have to keep up your time. Because as a makeup artist, uh, you have to understand, you have to analyze what is the skin types. Only when you know or understand what is your bride's skin type, you will be able to do a correct base for them and the correct makeup for them. If you don't find out what is their skin type and if you end up using the wrong base, your makeup is not going to come out good. Okay, if I start the class, let us all introduce about ourselves. First, let me tell about myself. I hope I told you all already, but still I'll quickly tell about myself. I'm Priya. I started this working for a corporate and one point of time I felt like you know I don't want to be one among in the corporate world and I want to be the queen of my own business and that's when I started this venture. Over a period of six to seven years time by God's blessing slowly one became two and two became three and now that I do have five branches of salon in and around the electronic city. Meanwhile I take care of bridal makeups and uh, academy and uh, salon uh, management everything I take care of so that my business gets balanced in all the ways you know it's not just the salon portfolio income or the bridal makeup income or the academy income but everything should be balanced in such a way that I don't you know um, uh, I don't struggle anywhere if something is not working out properly so that is why I manage to do everything so that it would be helpful so what I dry skin will have flakiness in the skin See, when, during your winter and all, if you scratch your skin, that white color patchiness will come. And same as like that, even in your, on our face, it will come. Sometimes for me, during dryness, my skin will, my skin changes season to season. Someone whom you find where only their T-zone is oily and this area, this area and all completely will be dry. So those kind of skins is called as combination skin. Beneath our skin, especially in the face, if it is so weak, that's when a person's skin will become sensitive. If he goes and get exposed to too much of heat or if he goes out in an extreme cold climate or if there is too much of wind or dust or anything for that matter, their skin will become red or they will get rashes. Where suggests skin and cleanse, tone, cleansing, toning and moisturizing. This has to be done even as a daily skincare routine and even before your makeup. This process is must. Only after this, every process relating to the makeup that will start. Okay. What cleansing will do? Why you have to do a cleansing process before you start with the makeup? Because when you, you think that you just washed your face and you came directly and you say, okay, go ahead and do the makeup. But as a professional makeup artist, I will never start doing a makeup for a person who comes in just like that. Because while she's driving or if you, definitely there will be some kind of impurities sticking on your face. Once when the pores are opened, it has to be closed again, right? On the open pores itself, you cannot go ahead and do the makeup because your makeup products are going to go and settle inside that pores. And which is again going to cause the acne problem or sensitivity issues. So once when your skin pores are opened, because for cleansing, of course, it has to clean from deep within, right? Likewise, it has to be closed back again. And that process is done by toner. My suggestion to you all is when you learn, you have to implement. I want you all to start implementing that for yourself and see what is the difference. The reason why I do a makeup on a daily basis for me is not just to be presentable, but I will learn new new techniques. My face itself, you know, when I do makeup, one of the other mistake I do or one of the new thing I learn on an everyday makeup. I try to tell you this because when you do makeup or when you do any kind of skincare routine, first thing as a makeup artist, you have to experience what all techniques uh, that you have to follow, what, what is the difference of doing all these things. All these days you might not have followed all these things at all actually. But start using it and see and feel what is the difference. Only then confidently you can tell a bride to do all these things. Uh, my skin was like this, I used this, I did this because of which my skin has become like this. So I recommend all of you to follow these process, implement this in day to day life, only then you will get to know what it is. Okay, 